Are you guys ready for another history lesson? We're going to continue the series on empire, the history of empire. So you've probably heard about the Crusades. If you have not, be sure to check them out. We're going to talk about how the Crusades were misrepresented. They were not about religion. They were about economics, just as most conflict is. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Crusades, and then I'm going to end it by talking about why is it that conflict is so often about economics. So the European kings sold the idea of the Crusades being about religion when it was really about economics. And why was it about economics? Well, because Europeans were isolated at the far top northwest corner of the greater continent that we know of as your Asia and Africa, pretty much being all locked together, right? They were at that far corner. And so they had a difficult time getting access in a reasonably priced manner to goods in Africa and Asia. They had to frequently travel across very brutal lands where they were randomly attacked or had to pay high fines and taxes to other kingdoms and they were trying to find a cheaper route to get to those goods. Well, before they made an attempt with the oceans, they made an attempt with several wars over approximately 200 years, which we know of as today as the Crusades. And like I said, they were sold to the masses as being about a religious war, but it was really about establishing those trade routes. That was the ultimate goal. So it was the European kingdoms fighting against the Ottoman Empire, which was based centrally located in Turkey as their center of leadership. And they had control of the trade routes all across Eastern Europe going into the Arabian Gulf, not Persian Gulf. I'll talk more about that later. It is the Arabian Gulf and the bridge that goes across the Sinai Peninsula into Africa and part of Northern Africa. The Ottomans controlled all those trade routes. Now, let's talk about what that means as far as empire, because when a leadership is in control, what does that actually mean on a lived experience level? Have you ever stopped to think? So what I mean about that is whoever's in power, Typically, what they have power over is the economics, which means trade routes, the supply chain, that type of thing, right? They typically also, especially as you get more and more into the modern era, have some form of taxation where they're able to get money from the people in order to provide services to the people, right? But the bulk of it, at the core of it, is that they are in control of the supply chain for the things that people need, the goods and the services. That is really what power is at the end of the day, which means that a people that can provide that type of resources to themselves are essentially the most free, right? And in these kingdoms, when people pay taxes, they pay taxes for the security that the leadership provides to them. And so this is taking a step away from that conversation about the, the Crusades, but I want you to think about that because when we study history, we need to grab as much information as we possibly can. So I want you to hold on to that conversation, hold on to that thought about power. I'm gonna do a video about that later, but nevertheless, let's talk about what happened next. So after the Crusades obviously did not go well for the Europeans. They got very few gains in this. They got some islands in the Mediterranean. It wasn't very good for them. But after that, they started to regroup. They restructured some things in their government. And the next thing you know, instead of trying to fight another war to get access to Asia, they took sail across the oceans. And we all know how that went because that led into a snowball effect of many other things that they did that were unethical and violent and horrible. But that is really how it all got started. It was all about access to goods and services. And that's how we got here. So whenever you look at any type of historical moment, if you look at even in the present day decisions that are made, actions that are taken, follow the money, follow the economics. Where is it going to lead you? Typically, you'll find the answer to the problem.